Miss Farrow. She sent me away with that copy. Years after the Black Fairy kidnapped me, I found it amongst her things. I kept it beneath the mattress in my cell. That tale got me through the endless night. But then one night, the Black Fairy caught me reading it. She asked me if I wanted to be like the character I was named after. A hero. I said I did. She just laughed and she said, we'll see about that. That night she took the boy in the cell across from mine. She dragged him to her tower where she whipped him. I hear his cries echo through the halls, begging for someone to stop her. I reached out to the door of my cell and it was open. I had a chance to save him. But I didn't, I just, I just sat there listening to his cries. She left the door unlocked on purpose. <sighs> to show me I didn't have what it takes. I was a coward father, just like you. But we can show your mother that she was wrong about both of us. Will you help me? Yes. But first, you must suck me in the house. What kind of tea is this? One laced with memory potion. In a few moments, you won't remember what the Black Fairy did. Your pain won't be gone. Did you really think a memory potion would work on me? I was raised by the Black Fairy. You know, I thought you cared about what she did to me, but you're no different than her. Now, you're going to keep your promise, and you are going to help me to fulfill my destiny, whether you want to or not. 